Uh, you might remember Little Grey and Little White, the first two captive beluga whales to move to an open water sanctuary. It was part of an experiment to acclimatise sea mammals back into the wild, and we are pleased to report they've successfully ventured out for their first swim. Should we find out how they got on? Uh, let's speak right now to Audrey Paget, manager of the Sea Life Beluga Whale Sanctuary, um, who's in Iceland for us this morning, out on the water. Very good morning to you. How are they doing? Good are they morning. Are they swimming at the moment? They are, uh, so I can't guarantee that you'll see them this morning because they have a full realm of their 32,000 square meter space and they are really enjoying it. So they're swimming around and, and checking everything out, but hopefully uh, you might see one or two of them uh, in the background behind me this morning. Well, we're watching very carefully. Um, Dan's going to watch out for us while I talk to you. He's looking very carefully now. Um, so just tell us how, when, when they first went out, what was their reaction? Uh, and when they first went out, we definitely saw their two distinct personalities. Little Grey went just kind of charging out the gate to go see what was out there, and Little White followed her a little more cautiously uh, and has since just taken her lead in, in exploring the area. And Little Grey uh, is exploring and following seabirds around. She even brought us a flounder the other day. She didn't know that it was food, of course. She just brought it to give it to us because she found it in the bay. So it's really neat to see them out kind of exploring the different seaweeds and the kelp and just, you know, exploring the space. Oh, it's, it's so exciting. So give us an idea. So they've been in a, in a much smaller tank, haven't they, until this point? Yeah, you can see behind me here, they've been in uh, what are called our sea care pools. So there's three pools here that are in the bay, uh, which have underwater gates. And they're uh, between nine by nine meters uh, to 18 by nine meters. So they've had a good amount of space to get used to the seawater and get used to the changing currents and the weather. Uh, but now they have 32,000 square meters with sandy areas, rocky areas, kelp, fish and seabirds. So uh, it's quite the massive uh, area for them to explore and very different from where they've been in an indoor facility and never really had an opportunity to explore. Yeah, it's incredible. Um, and how do they make sure that they come back? And do they come back? <laughs> They do come back. Uh, so our care team is out here uh, around the clock right now, and they work with them throughout the day. Uh, they do what we call sessions with them. So uh, the whales are still being fed. They're getting interaction and attention. So the whales know uh, where the trainers are that are out here working with them, and they come over, uh, and they come for health checks and for food. And that's how we make sure that they stay healthy and happy while they're still out in this bigger space. And, and you must, you know, you must be... Um... You know, as a carer for them, it must be like sort of having a child, letting them go out into the big wide world. Yeah, I mean, it's so exciting, but it's so nerve wracking as well. I, I would imagine it's like, you know, a parent giving the teenagers keys to the car for the first time. You know, you're excited for them, but you're also your heart's in your throat. And, you know, you want to make sure that they're OK and that you've done everything you can do to make sure that they're safe and, and successful. But you're kind of watching with bated breath when yeah. they're out exploring. You've explained it very well. Um, just briefly, is there a hope that they will be joined by other whales? Yes, definitely. So Little White and Little Grey are only the first uh, belugas here that we hope to welcome to the Beluga Whale Sanctuary here in Iceland. So there are more than 300 belugas under human care around the world, and we hope that um, other facilities will be willing to consider this more natural alternative. We can house up to eight more beluga whales here in Iceland in our facility. So the goal would be to create that social group uh, for these belugas in the future. OK, and you tell you say they're quite different characters. And that, has that always been quite obvious that they're one's a bit more adventurous? Uh, I think so, yes. I mean, I, I've only known them the last year and a half since I've been here in Iceland, but everything I've heard from their carers is that Little Grey has always been a little more outgoing, a little more uh, curious, and Little White's a little bit more reserved. So uh, that's something we're definitely seeing here. And uh, the staff from Merlin Entertainments, which first uh, took over the aquarium that, that they moved them here from, uh, said the same thing, that you know, Little Grey was a little more curious and outgoing as well. So it's just nice to see that full personality come through uh, in this environment. Well, they clearly um, don't want to be seen on BBC Breakfast. I hope they enjoy the rest of their swim. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Yeah. Audrey Paget, thank you very much. I kept a very close eye on that, Louise. Didn't see a thing.
the background, unfortunately. <laughs> Never mind. What a, what a shame. Um,